Hey guys, Ben here and welcome to Motivation to Invest. Big data and cloud computing, these are two of the fastest growing industries right now. And there are two major players in this space I'm going to discuss in this video. The first is Datadog and the second is Splunk. Now the cloud computing industry is expected to grow from 371 billion in 2020 to a massive 832 billion by 2025. That's a compound annual growth rate of an incredible 17.5% per year. So in this video, I'm gonna do a deep dive into those two companies, look at their growth rates, look at their valuation, and even give you guys my price targets for both stocks. But before we dive into that, if you're new around here, why not consider joining the investing family by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. If you wish to take things one step further, feel free to hit that first link in the description below to be taken to the Patreon page where you can check out the VIP membership group. There you can gain access to exactly when I'm buying and when I'm selling stocks, in addition to my entire investment portfolio. But with that being said, let's dive in. So firstly, let's take a look at Datadog. So Datadog calls themselves a cloud monitoring as a service company. This company works with some of the major cloud providers from Amazon Web Services to Microsoft Azure and even Google. Now, second, we have Splunk. Now, these are what's called a data to everything platform. And from many of their customers, including Porsche, Airbus and many, many more, they say they turn data into doing for these companies. So I'm going to dive into a few details with these companies and then we're going to get into the comparison table which I've created for you guys. The key difference between Splunk and Datadog tool is that the Splunk tool is a log management tool which is used when there is a requirement of managing the data generated from many devices. And Datadog is an analytical tool that can be used by an IT department for monitoring the performance of cloud services and other infrastructure. So it's clear that these are slightly different products, so they're not direct competitors, and that's a good thing for both companies. So another difference is that the Datadog tool can be used for integrating with other several products so that performance can be measured in a better way for cloud services. In the Splunk tool, there is no such functionality of integrating with other tools, and the tool is a standalone application. Now, cloud and big data are such complex areas. I could do a full video series just on these companies and the technology and how the companies operate. But in this video, I'm just going to dive straight into the comparison table. So as you can see, I've got both companies here. I've created this table. So we've got Datadog, ticker symbol DDOG, and Splunk, ticker symbol SPLK. So they both have a very similar market cap of around $30 billion. So that's equal from that point of view. Revenue is actually surprisingly slightly higher for Splunk. So they have $791 million in revenue for 2020, whereas Datadog is predicted at $590 million, but still quite similar, not a massive difference. However, this is where things start to get really different. So the revenue growth for Datadog this year in 2020 has been a massive 61%. Now that is astonishing. Generally, I say a growth stock is one which is growing their revenues at at least 15 to 20% per year. 61%, that is amazing. Splunk's revenue has slowed this year and theirs is just 27%, which is still amazingly fast, but not as fast as Datadog. And this is where there's been a lot of criticism of Splunk. So in Splunk's Q3 earnings result, they blame their slowing revenue growth on the macroeconomic conditions with the global health crisis. But Datadog has had these same issues and they've not experienced any slowing in revenue growth at all. If anything, their growth has improved. So to me, that says Splunk's management is putting up a bit of a smokescreen to distract investors from other issues with the company. And we're going to dive into that right now. So one of the issues could be what I alluded to earlier with regards to product usage. So with Datadog, it's easy and fast to implement, whereas with Splunk, it does require additional support. This means competition may have an edge on Splunk. Now, diving into the operating losses or profits for the company, we can see it's actually been positive for Datadog, expected to be $54 million. So this company has just started to become profitable, whereas Splunk, we can see they still have an operating loss for minus $287 million dollars. The operating margin is also positive for Datadog, whereas it's negative 12% for Splunk. Balance sheet, 6.49 on the current ratio. That is incredible. Generally, I look for a current ratio of at least 1.5 to 2, which is basically your short-term assets of the company, such as cash, compared to your short-term debt, which is that due within the next 12 months. 
So really anything above two is amazing. And Splunk has got a strong balance sheet with a current ratio of 2.43. But Datadog's got an even stronger balance sheet with a balance sheet of 6.49. Now that just means the company has a little bit less debt and a little bit more cash. So that's another point for Datadog. And there's also a lot of bullish news for Datadog. So Datadog has recently announced a strategic partnership with Microsoft and an extended partnership with Google and Amazon Web Services. So for those who don't know, the main players in the cloud computing industry are Amazon Web Services, which is the number one market leader, followed by Microsoft Azure, and then Google Cloud. And Datadog has great partnerships with all three of these companies. So Datadog announced a strategic partnership with Microsoft, which will make Datadog available directly from the Azure console. Azure customers will be able to purchase a Datadog plan with the ability to draw from their committed Azure spend, implement Datadog in just a few clicks, as well as manage Datadog natively from the Azure portal. Lastly, Azure and Datadog sales team will increase collaboration for co-selling to enterprise clients. So this is fantastic news for Datadog. So as you might have guessed, with all this bullish momentum behind Datadog, there has been a major run-up in the share price. As you can see here, if we go back to March, Datadog was just $34 per share. And now it ran up, it ran up, it reached 228%. So it went up by 228% by around October. And then it did decrease slightly. And then it started to increase again. It's still below its all-time highs of around $116 per share. So we're looking at now it's around $104 per share. So there was a bit of a correction here. So Splunk obviously had a bad quarter. And we can see their share price for the year is not massively higher. So that could mean there could be some value when it comes to Splunk. So in February 2020, it was $172 per share. Um, that then increased by around 30%. And then it's now decreased now by around 3%. So all in all, this leads to a price of sales for Datadog of 56. So you're paying 56 times the company's sales, which is a frothy and lofty valuation. But it is an exceptional company. Whereas Splunk, you're paying just 11 times company's sales. But they are facing a few issues in the short term. There's also a few other things I spotted, which are negatives for Datadog. So there's actually been some insider selling. As you can see here, 8th of December, $141,000 sold by Iconix Capital LLC. Index Ventures sold over $3 million worth of shares. 11th of September, we had quite a few sales here. Even in June, there was quite a few large sales. To me, that doesn't say that these insiders have lost faith in the company. It just says that potentially at those points, the valuation was so high and so juicy, they decided to sell and take a few profits. And when it comes to Splunk, there was also quite a bit of insider selling, but this was way back in September. And I think that was due to the poor results they released for Q3. So which is better, Datadog or Splunk? Well, personally, I think they're both fantastic companies in a growing industry. Datadog has got a lot of bullish tailwinds behind the company right now. They've got faster revenue growth. They've got some great partnerships with Amazon, with Microsoft, with Google. Splunk is facing some short-term issues and their platform is not as easy to use as Datadog. However, they are trading at an incredible valuation with a price to sales of just 11 compared to Datadog's price to sales of 56. So what's my price target? Well, I've actually done a free cash flow calculation for both these companies to come up with a fair price for each of their shares. The fair price for their shares, looking at the free cash flow for the company, is currently $70 per share. So at the moment, from that calculation, it says the company is 46% overvalued. That means the stock is priced for perfection as there's so many positive tailwinds for this company at the moment. Whereas if we take a look at Splunk, this is quite surprising. So from my calculation, I came up with a fair share value for Splunk of $188 per share. So that says at today's level, Splunk is 10% undervalued. So to me, that could be a buying opportunity. Now diving into the technicals just to give ourselves a little bit of reassurance, we can see here, we can see this moving average of Splunk, this blue line here. The share price is actually below that moving average. Now, that's a positive thing, which means we don't expect any more short-term pullbacks. So that could mean that at this point right now could be a buying opportunity. If we also take a look at the MACD, we can see there has been a crossover at these levels. So that also indicates a possible buying opportunity right now. Now, there is risks with Splunk. And that means if it doesn't manage to start producing better quarterly results, then the stock could drop lower in the future. So it's really if you have a long-term vision for the stock. 
To me, I like both companies and I see both of them as long-term investments. So let me know your thoughts. What do you think of the cloud computing and big data industry and which are your favorite stocks in this area? Comment your thoughts below. Also, if you guys did find some value in this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. That helps out tremendously with the YouTube AI. If you haven't joined the investing family yet, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on. If you wish to take things one step further, hit that first link in the description below to be taken to the Patreon page where you can check out the VIP membership group. There you can gain access to exactly when I'm buying and when I'm selling stocks. In addition to my entire six figure portfolio, the stocks and the story of how I built that portfolio from just $20,000 to over $200,000. So if you're interested in that or just want to find out more, feel free, first link in the description below. With that being said, I hope you guys have a tremendous day and I'll see you in my next video. Invest safe.